Hi everyone, welcome to Java Express Academy. We are going to discuss Java 10 features, uh, another feature called optional API changes. So optional concept is uh, an, uh, it's a new concept introduced in the Java 8. In Java 10, a enhancement, a new method added. So first you should know what is an optional. I will go through one real time example, optional by all use cases. Like we have a optional dot off, optional dot nullable and or else, or else like couple of methods we have. I'm going to discuss all scenarios here. Okay, optional is introduced in Java 8. We have a method called get method to retrieve your original object. Before calling your original object, we should always check whether the element is present or not. We have a method called is present. If optional is empty, we will get one exception called no such element exception. In Java 10, they introduced as a new a method called or else throw. If object exist, you will get. If not exist, okay, you can throw an exception. It's a very nice feature. So definitely we will use as part of our project development. Okay, so we'll go through a small example. Have a look here, guys. File, let me create a Java project. So let me choose 07. So optional API here, Java 10. Okay. Let me finish it here. <clears throat> right click new here com dot uh, what I will let me create a package com dot Java Express. Uh, so first let me write as a traditional code guys. Okay. First you should know uh, uh, how we used to write as a traditional code and then I will change to uh, with optional how to convert. To demonstrate you, I should take one object. Let me create some object here, um, student. Okay, here, uh, let me take a couple of attributes. Um, integer ID, okay, private string first name, um, private string last name. I have three attributes here. Let me create a constructor as well. Okay, selector getter methods, and then I should have a constructor source generate constructor generate it here. Done. This is a normal student Java class here. Here I'm writing a method. Okay, then I will be convert into a uh, some code. Have a look here. Here, assume that you are performing some database call think like this okay see i am writing a static method okay uh, white get student name okay like we have a first name and last name something we have right here what i will do i will take input as a name okay here what i am doing if assume that think like i am doing a database call i am doing some validation name dot equals okay like Basker, okay, uh, or okay, name dot equals, okay, something, some kind of a option. Something uh, I written these two names as of now here, guys. If it is matching, I want to return a student object here, okay. Like uh, assume that ID is triple uh, one, and I want to send as a name. And then I want to append something or um, Morocco. Assume that something uh, I'm taking some example here. Okay, guys. Else, what should I do? I'm returning as a null. Okay. Uh, let me send it as a student here. Now, for this method, how you can apply? Okay. Uh, whenever you are calling this particular method, how to apply optional, I'm going to explain all possible scenarios. Just have a look here. Now, how to call, you know already where keyword in the previous session. Let me use where student equal to, okay. Let me get the student name. Uh, get student name here. Let me pass something as a basker here, okay. If, see here, 
if student not equals to null okay basically optional is introduced to avoid the null conditions here remember this one okay system dot out dot print ln student uh, student dot get first name else what i should what should i do uh, just i'm throwing some exception no student no student with the given name. now for the same piece of code let me apply the first one called optional okay how you can do that let me copy first let me show you with the off guys we have a called off nullable okay nullable one how to apply whenever you are calling there is a chance you will get as a null instead of doing null condition in this approach okay instead of doing this approach how you can do that okay now see here <clears throat> instead of writing this approach optional optional okay we have a method of nullable keep it this method then the return type of this method will be a okay uh, this one guys this is the return type optional of student this is your return type if if this record is present student dot see is present if record is present i want to get the data see there is a method called get method on top of that you should specify your first name this piece of code for the nullable check okay see there is no place not equal to null completely we uh, not using in this program now instead of that okay instead of that let me do in a different activity now or else throw even i can avoid this piece of code now see here copy paste um here what i can do optional or else throw dim here what should i do we have a parameter called see here let me write a uh, a new line we have dot or else throw guys see here we have a method called we have a or else method either you can stand as a dummy object if you use or else throw it is kind of a lambda expression i want to throw some new a runtime exception okay here you should say uh, student is not present see we written previously six lines of code now it is a single line of code that's it this piece of code not required this piece of code not required just remove even get is also not required here see how much is you know real time definitely we will use this concept or else through i can easily explain with a small example but you should know in the real time how we should use optional here hope you like this session okay um if you like please like our video and leave your comments okay that's all today's session guys and thank you